Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's go ahead and continue the story of the electron. Okay, so uh, what is a conductor? Okay, name a conducting material. What is an insulator? Name an insulating material. Go ahead, write this, write this stuff down. What do you think? Okay. Now, this is stuff we've already covered. And so you need to go back and just clarify it with yourself, okay? Okay, so you should have said that a conductor is something that allows electrons to flow. Yep. Electrons move freely, right? That's right. Um, and um, name a conducting material. Well, it could be any sort of metal. That's right. All metals are conductors. Mm -hmm. uh, what is an insulator? <laughs> okay, well, an insulator is the opposite of a conductor. It does not allow electrons to flow freely. Um, and an example of an insulating material could be rubber. Rubber or plastic or glass mm -hmm. or ceramic or... Mm -hmm. Or carpet. Or carpet. Whatever you want. Yeah. Or your wool sweater. That's right. <laughs> uh, okay, so that is that. Go ahead and draw a bub. Okay, first of all, let me go over here and grab one. Identify conducting and insulating areas. Okay. Okay, here you can is, probably see it pretty well in there, huh? Here's a light, here's a light bulb. Mm -hmm. Okay, and see how this is like this. Now, if you were here, we would give you one of these to hold in your hot little hand. <laughs> and it's got a, let's see, where can we get some light on this? Oh yeah, there's a. Oh, that's good right there. Mm-hmm. All right, so. There's different parts uh, to this. What parts are conducting? What parts are insulators? Okay. So, and draw just, you got a, a circle, a rectangle, a triangle. A trapezoid. Yeah. <laughs> and the only thing missing on this picture, and I don't know how you know important it is to the drawing, is they've got a little, little thing right yeah, there. Yeah, there is a little glass bead. In the, in the inside there. In between the two wires. Can I'm you see that? Draw a bub. Did hear the bub? Can you draw it? <laughs> okay. So, what is? Uh, which ones are insulators? Which ones are um, conductors? Well, that that glass is an insulator. Yeah. So this is an insulator. Okay, what about the wire right that here? The wire is made out of metal. It's a conductor. Okay, and then you said this was a glass bead? That's a little glass bead that keeps the wires apart. That's an insulator. Okay. And then this this part that's got the threads on it, that's, that's metal. metal. That's a conductor. Oh, not metal. <laughs> okay. It's a conductor. Conductor. All right, and then that. And then that black stuff is like a ceramic. Huh. It's an insulator. And the tip on the bottom is like metal. metal. Yeah. So that's okay. a conductor. Boom. It kind of alternates. Yeah. Okay. So those, that is our bub. Okay, so now we're going to light the bub. Light the bub. <laughs> we're going to try to light the bub. Okay, so we're going to uh, get out a piece of paper uh, to be turned into me. Do I need to get that piece of paper? Uh, what they're going to do is we're going to try different arrangements of the battery, the bub, and the paper clip and see if we can light the bub. Now, I'm going to have to set this up here. Go, boy, go. Okay, so as we're waiting for the Boykinator <laughs> to adjust the uh, one and only tri tripod that we have here, um, uh, note to self, do not connect the positive to the negative of the bulb. So um, this paper clip, I don't want to connect one end of this side and one end of that side without the bulb. That's, that's <clears throat> Okay, let's just, let's just see what happens. If we do. Oh, wait, we forgot to go over this part, boy. Okay, what we're going to do here. So I'm going to go over that. Okay. Well, well, we'll get to that in just a minute. Okay. If you take this and attach it to that. Ow! <laughs> is it heating up? It gets hot. Oh, it is. It's heating up. There we go. Don't do that. All right. So now. Okay. So we're going to use one paper clip to connect battery and bulb. So make five different arrangements. Make a drawing of each, whether it lights or not. 
write yes if it does or no if it doesn't. Now, here's a book. Here's how you do the drawings. A battery is a rectangle with a bump on it. Battery. Oh, I see. Okay. And a bub is a circle, a rectangle, and a triangle. And then the paper clip we're going to be touching to different things. Okay? Boom. Okay. All right. So whether or not it lights, we're doing five of them. And so we'll, if you were here, you'd be playing with this stuff, mm -hmm. but you're not. So okay. we'll do it for you. Are we in there? Are we good? <laughs> okay. So. What do you want to do first? Nothing there. Okay. Do I draw that? Well, it doesn't include the paper clip. Okay. Let's, let's do the paper clip like this and then put the bulb touching the bottom. You guys can see that. Does it light up? Nothing. Okay, so draw that. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'll just show you guys. So we drew. So it was like this, right? Yeah. And then it was like like that. Simple. Yep. That's what I have my first one. Right. Oh wait, and then and then no. Nope. Didn't light. No light. Okay. Um, all right, so let me, let's see if we can attach it to both sides and then like this, is this what we just did? And then stick this on here like that. Uh, nothing. Ouch, that thing's getting oh. hot. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, so nothing there. Okay, so that was, okay, like this, we attached it like that. Okay, so that now, was a no. I think what we should do next. Can you see that okay? Yeah. yeah. Is I'm going to put the bulb here. Okay. And you run the wire from that to the side. Oh! oh! <laughs> Success! <laughs> okay, so, okay, so let me draw this. Okay, so we had, so we attached it like the, uh, And it touched the side where the threads are. Yeah. Okay, so note to self, it, it uh, this one, it touched the side of this one, that, 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 that box. Okay, so this was a yes, this was a win. Well, they're all wins. Okay. Let's do it this way. Oh, yeah, flipping the, flipping the plus and the minus. Okay, so it doesn't matter which side. Okay, so I'm just going to say flip. Yeah. So you, as when you draw this, here's the bump on the battery. This goes on the other side. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's try one more. I'm going to put it like this. Mm -hmm, okay. Again. Oh, no. Okay, touch the bottom. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, ha, ha. There, I'm like, it's heating up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what? Do, this was a very slight difference. We had the bulb laying sideways. Uh huh. Okay, so we had the like this part. It was like this, right? Yep. Okay, so that's five different ones. Oh, sorry. That's the fifth one. Okay, so that one I drew like this. <clears throat> okay, and I did this one twice, right? Because we just flipped the the battery there. All right. Okay. So what is going on here? Okay. So what is the same for every arrangement that makes the light bulb light? It was the same okay. for every one of these arrangements. No, no, yes, and then we flipped it over and then yes, and then yes. Hmm. What's the pattern here, boys and girls? Do you want to answer this or do you want to let them? Well, uh, maybe on the next slide when it's got the diagrams. Sure. Okay. And then, uh, what purpose do the, does the paper do the paper clip serve? Oh, the paper clip, the one. Yeah. Uh, does the paper clip uh, serve? Well, if if we were in regular physics, we do yeah. this first with one paper clip, and then we do it with two paper clips. 
Uh, okay, so well, what's the paper clip made out of? Well, it's made out of metal, so it's a conductor. It is a so conductor. I think it probably allows electrons it gives to... gives a path for electrons to yeah. follow. Okay, so... Um, but we're, well, let, let's look at the paper, yeah? Yeah. To explain this? Okay. So uh, what when it worked... Um, so this one was connected only to that triangle, right? Yeah, on the bottom to the tip here. Okay, that's a no. Again, triangle to the other bottom. Yeah. Okay, that was a no. So our first yes, our first success comes when uh, it's connected to that one with the um, with the striations on it. The threads. The threads. I'm like, what's a striation? That's, that's a striation. <laughs> Striated muscles. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> with the threads on it so when it's attached to the one with the threads on it and there's something also attached to this the triangle that bottom piece okay so let me grab this that means that means we had something attached here that, and there so right here we had the base the the bottom touching the bump mm -hmm. and then the other end of the battery was attached to the side mm -hmm. okay now over here, we just had the bottom. Over here, just the bottom, yeah. okay? Now here, this is super groovy. Um, good good thinking, Mr. Boykin, okay? We have, uh, I messed up on, did I mess up on the way? No, that's good. Oh no, I'm good, okay. Yeah, we had the, the, the threaded part mm -hmm. on the bump. Oh, there we go, sorry. I was like, what is this? this is, that's the that's the triangle piece, okay? Yeah. yeah, so the threaded part goes on the bump, connects that bump part, yeah. and now the wire is connecting to the base of my little triangle right there. Yeah. Okay. So, so in order to make the bulb light, what do you gotta have? Two points of contact, right, on that bulb. Yeah, basically. well, you got two parts of the battery, you mm -hmm. got, of, of the bulb. You got mm -hmm. the bottom conductor and then the side. Mm -hmm. And one of them has to be connected to one end of the battery, uh -huh. And the other one has to be connected to the other end of the battery. Now, we have two wires in there, right? Well, that's what lights up. Yeah. Okay. And we'll get, it comes in, it comes out. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So, okay, question, so, which ones will light? Okay, so, well, first of all, take a second. Okay, go through. Guess which ones will light, which ones won't. And see, if we had, if, if school were in session, you could have tried a bunch of things to find out if they do or they don't. Okay, okay. I know that number two is not gonna like yeah, you no. tried that. Okay, so this one's a no. This one's why a is no. Not, oh. Why is number one a no? Because they're both going into that bottom triangle piece. We need it to go into, one of them to go into our box and one of them to go into our triangle. Yep, yep. So no, no. Okay, so yes. because We goes tried that one. Box and triangle, so yes. This is a no. And we tried that one and that one's a no and the paper clip heated up. Yeah, it got hot. Okay, this, oh, this is the one we tried. So this is a yes, because it goes, we're going into the triangle and out the rectangle. It's getting tired. How about this one? Well, this one, we, if we had two paper clips, yeah. <laughs> or if we broke it in half, but it would be a yes, right? Because we're going in uh, our triangle, out that rectangle. Um, this would be a no? No, because that would be the same as number four. Yeah. Um, let's see. This is a no. That's kind of like number two, except instead of the tip, it's only touching the side. Yeah. Um, this is going to be a yes. Yeah, we did this one, didn't we? Right, yeah. It's going in the box. and Th That will light up. Triangle. And then last but not least, uh, this guy right here. Now, it would still work if it's touching that bottom part. I think so. If the, if, the, if the threaded part, the, the mm -hmm. side is touching the bottom the and the tip is connected to the bump, mm -hmm. then that should light. Okay, sweet. Hopefully, you got those right. Okay. All right, so uh, here's a little challenge for you guys. Oh, this could be their homework. I want you to, up well, no, should we, t we should talk about it. Well, uh, take a moment here, and you've got these two wires, and you've got the thing that lights up, and these two wires disappear down into the base. The great abyss. Where are those two wires attached? So make a drawing of the bulb. You got the circle, you got the rectangle, you got the triangle, you got the thing at the bottom, you got the ding, you ding, 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 ding. Where do these two wires connect in the base? Hmm. Take a shot at you guys. All right. Okay. Now, should I go over this with them? Uh, no, I think that's something you can talk about in class. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, current electricity um, is charge flowing in a circuit. Yep, current electricity. We were doing static electricity where mm -hmm. the charge stayed in one spot. Mm -hmm. Current electricity is when it's flowing. 
A circuit is an unbroken conducting loop. A circuit. You guys have heard of that before, right? Yeah, a circuit is like a circle. It's something that goes around. Mm -hmm. And when we had, when we were doing these, I remember we were doing this, we had some struggle making it light because it wasn't touching. And in order for it to light up, it has to touch in an unbroken loop. If, that's, if that paper clip comes off, the loop is broken, and you don't have current flowing anymore. Okay, so how do we do this? Um, we draw maps of electrical currents using symbols. Yep. Okay, so what kind of symbols? Um, uh, the symbol for a battery is that right there. So before we were just drawing a box with a bump. Yeah, and you can draw that sideways like this, up and down like this, sideways the other way, whatever way you want to to yeah, make it work. So here we go, like this. And um, there was a there was a cool trick that Mr. Boykin uh, used to help remember this. Um, it takes two hands to make a positive, right? Two fingers to make a positive, yeah. right? And so those two fingers put together make that long, the long side. Line. So the long line is always going to be is positive. the positive side. The long line is the positive side. And then to make a negative, you just need a, you know to make to make the negative symbol. You only need one finger, and that and that's going to be a short line. And so this is going to be the negative side. So as we will be drawing electrical circuits and drawing batteries, the short side is a negative side, and the and the long side is a positive side. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else we got up in here? Um, symbol for a bulb looks like that. It's just a loop with a circle around it. Okay, so like this. So a loop with a circle like that. Yep. Cool. That's all there is to it. Okay. Draw a simple circuit using the proper symbols for a battery, wire, and bulb. Well, we've already got one started over here. We've yeah. got the battery and the bulb. All we have to do is draw wires like that. Boom. Done. And so what we have is a complete unbroken circuit. We've got the loop inside is connected to the wires that go to one side of the battery and the other side of the battery. Bonus question, if you were an electron, which direction would you flow around this circuit? Huh. Well, what are the electrons going to be attracted to? Positive. And what are they going to be re repelled from? Negative. Okay, so they're going to probably come out like this. Okay, and then flow into this side, right? That's exactly right. Sweet. Attracted to the positive, repelled from the negative. Okay, so we're, we're, we're getting this. Okay, so charge can flow fast or slow through a circuit. Huh. Okay, so the speed. Here's okay. an important idea. So current um, is the amount of charge flowing per second. Okay, so the charge per second. And then we're gonna call that an ampere. Yep. Okay, sweet. Right, and what do we call this symbol, which is I? That's I, and um, uh, you may have noticed that some, pow uh, the, some power uh, symbols have a, pull it off there. Wait, it's right. Jesus. Right. Some power symbols are a circle like this. It looks like that. You ever seen a power symbol? Oh, it looks yeah. like that button power on and off. Like on your TV remote. Yeah, and what that is, is you push it once and it's on. And that this line right here is for the symbol for current. That's the letter I. You push it again and it's off, and that's the circle for off. For oh, zero current, cool. current and zero current. So Oh, that's so smart. I did not know that. Ah. Good old. Is it Greek, right? Uh, it's just, no, it's a letter I. No, it's just letter I. <laughs> Nothing fancy here. Okay. All right, that is it, you guys. Uh, no homework today. Um, make Figure sure out where those wires go. Oh, oh, yeah, where do the wires go? This is your homework. I apologize. Upload to this assignment.